Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are learning how to be confident. Are you excited? I can't wait. So the person who's gonna teach that to us today, her name is Judy and her content is, I wouldn't necessarily say unhinged, but I would say immature, lackluster, and empty. So who better to learn how to be confident than someone who absolutely clearly has a lack of self-awareness and a whole lot of confidence to be able to put out this type of content. For the love of God, someone please stop her. Now this is Judy K. It looks like on TikTok, she has a whopping 807 followers. She creates freedom the modern way. What does that mean? And then DM me on IG how to find out how. Hmm, I wonder how. On YouTube, she has 74 subscribers. And then on Instagram, 2,361 followers on there. She is a self-proclaimed entrepreneur. We know what that means. Crypto trading investor AI. We also know what that means. And of course, we know what that means when someone is an entrepreneur and they are constantly promoting crypto trading investor AI bots, all the bots, it's so spooky, creating freedom the modern way, DM me money bag to learn how someone's doing something or rather promoting that they are doing something. And they are saying that they can teach you how to do the same thing that they do. It is most likely an MLM. And what do you know? It is. She is in e EA Economy. I know. What's that? So EA Economy is a newer multi-level marketing company that is just like iGenius, just like I Am Academy. It's literally the same exact thing, but they act like it's not. Crazy. So this gal, Judy, you might remember her from a few weeks ago, maybe like two months ago. She went like semi-viral on TikTok, not for good reasons, <laughs> because she was on TikTok saying that she would not associate with fat people. Yes, you heard that right. She said that she would not associate with fat people. And then of course, everyone and their mother started duetting it, stitching it, however you want to say it, and just roasting the shit out of her. One of my favorites was one where someone was like, I know you're not saying this with adult braces. Like, come on. You will know they're fat. It led to a whole discussion and it was me saying that if you're fat and you can do something about it, but you choose not to, you choose not to go for a walk, you choose not to go to the gym, you choose not to eat healthy. So this, of course, led me down just the best rabbit hole, one of the best rabbit holes I've fallen down in quite a long time. So let's watch this three minute TikTok from this gal. Trigger warning, she has the classic alien face that most of these, most of these girls do in EA Academy, iGenius, all that because they overfill their lips to the point of, dear God, not only someone help them also, dear God, what are you doing? With a side of your injector should be in jail because that's so dangerous and unhealthy. No, baby, we ain't body shaming here. Do what you want to your body as long as it's safe. That is not safe. That is extremely unhealthy and also contributes to other people wanting that, which that's not okay. If your injector is willing to overfill you that much, they are putting profit above patient and that's not okay. That's a red flag. Don't do that. Education and the patient and safety is more important than having terrifyingly giant lips. Also, most of them use like these filters that make their lips giant. So they're just like, and it's okay to get injectables. I love injectables. You bet your tuchus that right after this baby pops out, I will be getting my Botox again and probably like half a syringe of lip filler. Not a full one like I used to do, but... I was asked what I think about that, but I said, you know they're fat. It led to a whole discussion, and it was me saying that if you're fat and you... It kind of cut off, but she said, I was asked what I think about dad bods. And I said, you know, they're fat. Okay. Can do something about it, but you choose not to. You choose not to go for a walk. You choose not to go to the gym. You choose not to eat healthy. You choose to spend your time on TikTok and Netflix. And ew, you're fat. And I'm glad that you got offended. And you're probably wondering, why do I care? The fact is, I don't care. But if you're someone who wants to associate with me, I will not associate with you if you're fat. That's when it matters because who you hang around with truly does impact your life. I will not associate with anybody who is unhealthy and fat and choose to do nothing about it in real life or even on live TikTok battles. Someone with the username Fat Life stitched one of my videos and she put a video of her face and then she- What the hell was a live TikTok battle? I'm telling you, 
That's why I had to delete the app. It's not just because China's stealing our information. TikTok is also rotting our brains, but dear God, there's, there is some good that can come out of it. I completely understand. And I agree with that. And there is some reputable independent journalism on there. Independent journalism is so important. Very, very important. However, what the fudge is a TikTok battle? And if these are the type of people that are on it, I think we're done. I think we need to I think we need to pack it up, go home. Also, you will probably, this video is gonna be long, so you're probably gonna see me literally taking shots of honey because I have a sore throat and I'm pretty sure I'm sick and I can't take anything for it because I'm a vessel for life. Then she turned the camera to show her phone and she's requesting to go battle live with me. What she also did is she showed me her environment, which looked very similar to how one of my environments used to look when I didn't care about myself, which just really proves my point even more. How you do one thing is how you do everything. How you treat yourself is how you treat others. It's so ironic how all the overweight people who choose to do nothing about their weight, they're the ones who are trying to insult me, insult my nose. They're the ones who are being so negative and trying to spread so much hate. But on the other hand, people who actually go to the gym, people who actually work on themselves, people who actually try to better themselves, who are beautiful inside and out, they're the ones who are messaging me, supporting me, thanking me. You know what's interesting is that, and I just thought of this, but there's a lot to unpack here, but she just said so much. That's just ridiculous. But she just said, the P I don't want to associate with fat people because like who you associate with or who you put yourself around is like what you become. How unstable are you? <laughs> that just because like someone around you has like maybe unhealthy eating habits or even without that they could be they could have healthy eating habits and maybe just a genetically they got they're a little bigger that's okay that doesn't mean that you're gonna like obesity a higher bmi bmi is also they don't account for the big but y'all come on look look into how like bs bmi is it's crazy i, just, I learned about that last year because i saw something that was like it's racist and i was like okay what and i looked into it and i was like oh my god what <laughs> what's going on but yeah and i thought about it and i was like oh i'm most likely like due to my like small stature and then i don't know why i just said it like that because i'm short but then i have double d's sometimes triple depending on who's measuring me and where i am like it they it doesn't account for that so like yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like typically like higher on the like scale of BMI. So the, usually it always says I'm overweight when like I'm not actually overweight. I don't think this girl understands that fat, which let's not look at it as a bad term, like actual, like I'm not saying it as an insult. I'm saying it as like muscle fat, bone, what like what your bodies consist of. We all got a little bit of fat. You like literally can't survive without it. But baby, that's what keeps you warm in the winter. That's not contagious. Apparently being a dummy is because it sounds like those are the type of people that she surrounds herself with. And then she's like, well, then people are insulting me talking about my nose. And it's like, yeah, but if you if you have a bigger nose, like you got, you got a big nose, who cares? That's also a, f a fact. You can take it as an insult. Yeah, that's a fact. Don't let it hurt your feelings. If someone's trying to weaponize a fact to hurt your feelings, they suck. Don't listen to that person. They're stupid. And it's hilarious that she's like, and you might think, why do I care? I don't. You're making a whole video on it. Even people who used to be fat are messaging me and supporting with what my truth is. I am not shaming anybody. I am promoting a healthy life. I am promoting becoming the best version of yourself. And the reason why it's so important is because when you don't work on yourself being the best version of yourself, physically, mentally, financially, you turn to be one of these people spreading hate under someone's TikTok live or TikTok video, sorry. Like seriously, how embarrassing spreading hate under someone's comment. Like just imagine your family saying that. Like if my sister seen me spreading hate, they will bag my life. Like oh, that's sad. What about someone who's a little bit overweight in your family seeing this? Like then yes, there's a difference between like going out of your way, going to someone else's social media, someone else's space and just being rude for no reason and then like keeping it on your own page because people can avoid that, whatever. But like, I just can't get over her top lip. I am so grateful that I'm promoting this message because what it has allowed me to do is sift through people. I am attracting beautiful inside and out people who are hardworking, who are successful, who are healthy, who actually support me. And on the other hand, people who I do not agree with their morals and values, they're taking themselves out. I love when the trash takes itself out. If you're someone who is trying to spread hate under my comments, then I highly recommend you to watch my new YouTube video on how to actually change your life. I believe it's going to truly help 
help you get out of this negative situation. Because at the end of the day, it's not you being fat that's the real issue. Yes, of course, I don't necessarily want to walk around with someone who's fat when I leave the house, but also it just shows your mindset. That is the real issue. It shows how lazy you are. It's just like the fact that I want to marry someone who is a millionaire. Of course, the money is the bonus, but it shows me his mindset because I know what it takes to become successful. I know the mindset you need to have. I so girl, what if what if you're not like, I mean, thank God she's pretty skinny. But like, have you ever noticed that most most the girls who, ladies who act like this, who are in these pyramid schemes, have this type of completely unhinged mindset, mantra, if you will? Most of them are single. Because who wants to be around this? That is ridiculous. No one wants to be around that. If they gain a little bit of weight, are you going to be embarrassed to be seen in public with them? That's not love. I know what it takes to be healthy and go to the gym and be consistent and be hardworking and have that work ethic and not feel like it and still do it. I know how hard I work and the value that I bring to any relationship. And that is why I only want the best of the best around me. If you're someone who got triggered by my message, then I urge you to focus this hate and anger on yourself and bettering yourself, not on I was asked. It's not ignorance. It's straight facts. And this generation is too soft and censored to have a real conversation. Being fat isn't the worst thing in the world. It's really not. You can be happy and fat. You can be fat and happy. You can be happy and work out a bunch. You can be unhealthy and work out a bunch. You can be unhealthy and fat. The idea that it's one way or the other, or that if you're fat, you're lazy. I mean, I know I know people who are a little bit overweight and they're not lazy at all. Some of the best people I know got, got a little bit more to love. Some of the other side of that, best people I know have, you know, are super fit. Some of the worst humans I've ever met in my life are super skinny and unhealthy or maybe super healthy. Like the, those things don't correlate. <sighs> these people suck. Like, why do you care about other people's bodies? Like, sure, want them to be healthy, I guess. But like, who cares about other people's bodies? Like, your own insecurity is just like going out. Like, ugh, it's so gross. So you guys understood what I'm saying. I said, if you can do something and you choose not to do something, if you're somebody who has a medical reason or a real reason why you cannot, then you cannot. And therefore my message is not for you. And I'm sorry if you thought it was and got offended. But it's so ironic that the only people who are getting offended is the people who can do something about their situation, but they're choosing not. It's not the people who actually have medical conditions and actually understood what I said. It's not the people who are on their journey of bettering themselves. It's just the people who choose not to do something about it. What I'm saying is nothing but the truth. It's actually common sense. You are the sum of the people that you hang around. You're not the sum of the people you hang around. I, I got I got some pretty wealthy people that I hang around sometimes. I am not. <laughs> I am not like them in terms of like what I have in the bank. Mm -mm, girl, no. Like that the, they don't correlate. Like how we're not sponges. I'm not just going to soak up every little like aspect of someone's life. If someone's heavier than me, it doesn't mean I'm going to become heavier. If someone's you know, skinnier than me doesn't mean I'm gonna, you know, be skinnier. My husband works out more than I do. Yeah, he's a good influence on me, but and like inspires me to go to the gym more, but it doesn't mean I'm gonna go as much as him. I can still be my lazy self if I want. But yeah, she just says like, no, it's a fact. It's a fact. It's like, no, no, you're brainwashed to believe this because you, that's how they keep you in the MLM, girl. That's, that's what happens. And the people you hang around are exactly like you. And if you're somebody on the journey <laughs> of bettering yourself, then you would want- why? The people who hang around you are not exactly like you. That's called a cult, <laughs> which you are in one, in my opinion. But like, that would be so boring. I love hanging out with people who aren't like me. That's what keeps life interesting, in my opinion. It's what keeps you not in an echo chamber. You want nothing but the best for yourself and people who are similar to you. If you're somebody who's on your journey of bettering yourself, then send me a follow. I'll most likely follow you back. But if you're somebody who is like these people who can do something about their situation and they choose not to. The people who are extremely offended and trying to insult me in the comments, I'm sure I have a really great understanding of the people who you hang around on. I would be offended too. But then I'll also take it as a reality check and I'll do something about my situation because I can. You have to understand if you truly want to change your situation, you don't want people in your life who tell you, yeah, it's okay to be fat. It's okay to be unhealthy. Yeah, it's okay to be broke. Yeah, it's okay to be unhappy because that's going to get you nowhere in life. You want people in your life who are going to tell you the truth, 
who are going to want you to want to see you do better. Stop trying to normalize people being unhealthy and making it out like it's okay. Because the more unhealthy people, whatever area of your life that you're unhealthy in, the more unhealthy people, the more negativity, obviously, and the more hate and the more craziness. God, that's insufferable. All right. Now, get your notebooks ready. I have to turn to a whole new page, actually. So we are going to go confidence. Chelsea, you can't read or write. Get it together. Next, we're going to go back to school because apparently I can't read or write. How to be confident. Are you ready? Let's talk everything you need to know on how to be extremely confident in your own skin and how to absolutely, wholeheartedly, unconditionally love yourself. Let's get straight into it. Now, with anything, with success, with fitness, with anything in life, there is always two aspects that go hand in hand. You need both these things in order to be successful and in this case, to be confident. That is one, the right mindset, and number two, some practical things that I have in store for you. I want to first and foremost start with the mindset. Now, this is mindset, but it's also a little bit practical, okay? You need to look in the mirror, okay? And part of confidence, I'm not going to lie, like I said, it goes hand in hand, is actually, in fact, how you look. But surprisingly, the other half has nothing to do with that. So make sure you guys stay till the end. But back to the first part, back to the first thing you need to do. You need to look in the mirror and you need to tell yourself, what do I not like about myself? What do I love about myself? Even write a list if you need to, okay? And after you've written your list of what do you like? Okay, shall we go ahead and get into this super healthy exercise? Looking in the mirror, what do, okay, I'm supposed to write what I don't like about myself. I feel like I'm not the best person to do this because I am pretty overly like obsessed with myself. My favorite unhinged quality. So things I love about myself, my skin, my lips, my frecks, my eyes, my boobs, my small ears. I think they're adorable. They're so cute. Look how tiny they are. I mean, I don't love. Okay, you know what? Let's do love. And then not really love. Because I don't want to say I hate anything. That's mean. Not really love so much. My fingers. Sometimes they look like starfish. That's why I like getting long nails. So it elongates them. The varicose vein on my leg. I mean, I honestly think that's it. <laughs> All I have is fingers and vein on leg. And honestly, I, like that doesn't keep me up at night. Like I really don't care. Cause like those are things that I can't necessarily like change. I mean, I, I'm gonna book a thing to get the vein taken care of after the baby, but, and I can't change my fingers. That'd be crazy. Meanwhile, I just keep getting tattoos on my hands, which is not related to that. But yeah, like, I don't know. It's just, it's focusing like too much on those things is, is just weird. And I'm, I'm much more of like a body neutrality type of person instead of like body positivity. Like, yes, love yourself. I don't care what you think about your body. Be happy. That you can change and things you cannot change. And I want you guys to make sure that you write down things that you, you seriously can't change. Let's get rid of surgery because that's very unsafe. Okay, so for me personally, what I wrote... I mean, surgery isn't necessarily very unsafe. I mean, obviously, yes, there is a risk whenever you go under the knife, whenever you get anything done, even injectables, even outpatient stuff, there's a risk. You should always be aware of that and you should always go to someone who is very educated and who will educate you on that. And injectables aren't considered a surgery. It would be more of a treatment. So that's different. I'm, I remember back when I had my lips done, someone would be like, oh, well, you got lip surgery. Well, that's not what it's called. Like, clearly you're not, don't speak on it if you're not educated on it. Get it together. You cannot tell me that those are her natural lips. You just, you can't. You cannot. What wrote down is like, you know, I don't like being white. So then I get a tan done. I don't like having very frizzy hair because my hair is naturally very wavy. So I pay for expensive shampoos. I don't like having really thick eyebrows, so I pluck my eyebrows nice and thin. But things that I cannot change and things that I will not change because I've learned to love them, and I'm going to share the source on how I learned to love them as well, is things like my nose, things like my small breast, okay? I hope there's only girls watching this, okay? Boys, get out of here. You heard her, boys. Get out of here. You cannot change is what you want to then tell yourself, these are things that I'm learning how to love. And we need to now, this is the mindset, we need to learn to be okay with the journey. 
because you are going to love yourself. You need to tell yourself. I don't necessarily disagree with that, but I also think it's like pushing yourself to love something that you clearly don't. Like it's it's okay it's okay that I don't that I don't like my fingers. It also doesn't effing matter. Tell yourself, look in the mirror and be like, one day I'm going to look at myself in the mirror without any surgery and I'm going to be able to be absolutely obsessed and in love and infatuated with what I see. Really tell yourself that and believe it because that's the mission and that's what's going to happen after you learn the source in this video. Now, after you learn the source in this video, aren't you the source? Let's be real. If you know yourself, you're not eating right. Oh, that is a bit more practical. Okay, before we get to that, let, before we get to that, let's stick to the mindset, right? So back to the mindset. You need to tell yourself that you are one day going to absolutely love yourself and you need to hold that feeling. I'm going to need her to never make a YouTube video again. Oh my God, this is excruciating. We need to uh, speed this up to 1.25. And you need to hold that feeling, okay? And you need to... You need to tell yourself that, let's say for an example, your nose. You need to tell yourself that this is my nose. God created just one of this nose. These are my breasts. These are my hands. God created these hands. Judy, Judge Judy, if you will. Scratch that. How dare I compare her to your honor. Judy Bloom. What if who's watching this isn't believing God? My parents' DNA created these hands. That's it. I do think I probably have my dad hands. I feel like I do have a double dose of my dad, actually. And not in the best way sometimes. This is my lips. This is my eyebrow. These are your lips? Girl, that's Juvederm's lips. What? I don't know for a fact that she has Juvederm done. Obviously, if she does, if she does, it doesn't matter. Who cares? But it's just funny in hindsight. My eyes. This is my head. This is my shoulders. This is my knees and toes. Okay, even toes, right? You need to tell yourself that this is me for me. And if you want to get into, let's say, a relationship and you want this man to love you for all who you are and all your flaws, you need to do that to yourself, okay? And now let's get into the practical. That's always what it comes back to, right? The only reason we are going to need to love ourselves is so that someone else can love us, so that a man can love us. Mm. If I don't love myself, no one else can love me. That's not true. You could definitely not like yourself or like aspects of yourself and other people can love those aspects of you. If you're unhappy with yourself, like you can't be a good friend or if you don't love yourself, you can't love other people or like let others love you. That's so just effed up. Like, especially when it comes to people who do have mental health hiccups, for sure. I mean, I am a, an anxious many times depressed, especially right now. Perinatal depression. Didn't know that was a thing. Thought it was just postpartum. <laughs> I'm getting to it early, I guess. So are you saying that like, because I'm dealing with that, and I mean, I always deal with that, but like, because I'm dealing with that, that I can't like love my spouse or love this baby or love my friends or be loved by them? Like what? That's not how feelings and love works, ma'am. First and foremost, what you want to do is you need to be speaking only the nicest things into existence in when you look into the mirror make it a mission a habit every single morning and night you look in the mirror okay and you tell yourself i absolutely love myself i'm a affirmations are great don't get me wrong absolutely i personally think that doing physical affirmations aren't necessarily the best but doing affirmations that are more so emotional and like deeper. Words of affirmation for yourself. That's one of my love languages. So I give that to myself and show myself that love. I think that that is more healthy. What is happening here? More healthy and more important than the surface level of like, you have beautiful eyes. Your hands aren't fat. Legs look good. Your skin is pretty. Your freckles are popping in all the right places. Like if if you need that, okay, go for it. But I really think that the deeper affirmations are much more important. I'm obsessed with myself. I am so beautiful inside and out. I love my nose. I And, and make sure you talk about things that you love as well as things that you don't love because you're then confusing your brain. Your brain doesn't know what is true and what is false. Your brain only knows what you tell it. And if you tell yourself and that for enough period of time, you are going to start believing it as well as if you implement the next steps I speak about. Now, if you know that you love yourself, you're obsessed with how you how you look, just like a man, if you if your partner loves you, what is he going to do for you? He's going to take you out to eat. He's going to buy nice flowers. He's going to speak to you right. He's going to treat you right. 
Are you doing that to yourself? When was the last time you cooked yourself a nice meal? How much water are you drinking daily? If you, oh, my bracelet keeps getting stuck on my clothes. If you truly love yourself, how are you treating yourself? Put aside how you look. What are you eating? What's going inside your body? How often are you working out? You love yourself. This is a motivational Pinterest board personified. This is the most obvious surface level. I don't even want to say hilarious, but just easiest low effort advice that you could give anyone. Drink your water. Be nice to yourself. Positive self-talk and affirmations. Focus on the things you love, but like also, you know, talk about the and like accept the things you cannot change. Like I swear she's gonna just start talking in in terms of uh, the serenity prayer. How are you treating yourself? Start cleaning up your environment. Start cleaning up after yourself. Start treating yourself like the queen and princess that you are. Make your bed. Clean your room. <laughs> Start treating yourself how you would if you looked in the mirror and you are obsessed with how you look. If you completely love yourself inside and out. You love how you look. You love the person that you are. You love how you treat yourself. This brings me to the, my next thing. How are you treating others? I know me. If one time my mind accidentally sleeps and I'm like instantly judging somebody. I'm going to feel like shit about myself. I'm just going to feel so negative. Let's say I look at somebody and they're wearing ugly shoes and I actually say, oh, their shoes are so ugly. Next time I go to pick out what shoes I'm going to wear, I'm going to be so self-conscious about it. So how we break this habit is... For someone who's made a video titled How to Be Confident, this video is oozing with some uber self-conscious uh, vernacular, if you will. All I'm hearing her say is be a better person. Be a good person to yourself and to others. Be nice to yourself, treat yourself good, treat others good and you'll be confident. I have people ask me all the time, how do you be confident? Confidence is, in my opinion, the art of just not caring what other people think and truly just loving yourself. And one thing that has really helped me with that is the, you know, body neutrality versus body positivity, you know, self-love type of stuff. And that doesn't work for everyone. That's fine. Like affirmations, like the deeper ones have helped as well. Hyping yourself up. Yeah. But I feel like all of what she's saying is like fake it till you make it, which I guess like you can brainwash yourself like that but like ugh. no one cares about your what you're wearing no one cares what your makeup looks like genuinely no one cares if they do that's weird but no one cares as much as you do you're thinking about things and worrying about things being insecure about it when realistically no one cares if someone does think about it or like judge you for a second it's usually only for a second and then they move on with their lives so move on with your life and don't care if you think your clothes fit weird, I don't know, try to stretch them out or get clothes that fit you. That was a weird example, but you know, you get it. So how we break this habit is, of course, as humans, we naturally have the instinct to judge. But instead of looking at somebody's shoes and saying, oh, it's so ugly, force yourself to look at them and find something nice that you like about them. Force it. Maybe it's you like the color of their t-shirt. Maybe it's you like how their arm hair is, is falling. I don't know. You compliment someone's arm hair? That is unhinged. You don't you don't have to force yourself to compliment people. That could come off as disingenuous. Cause what if you do say, I like the way your arm hair looks. Ooh, I'm sorry, what? Yeah, you don't have to do that. Force yourself to find something nice because the more that you focus on flaws of others, it really is just gonna direct to you and what you see and how you react and how you deal with looking at yourself in the mirror, okay? I don't think that's necessarily true. I cannot like someone's style or their shoes or their shirt or how they're wearing their hair or their makeup. And it doesn't mean that I'm then going to not like my own makeup or outfit or be more self-conscious about that. You can have your own opinions. You don't have to verbalize them and be a who cares? You need to break that habit. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to come natural until you build that habit up. Okay. Now, this brings me to my next practical thing that you need to do. You need to stop following girls on social media who don't have the body type that you do. I get it. Kylie Jenner is sexy. But if you're someone who your body is like straight, you don't necessarily have a lot of hips, don't follow Kylie Jenner. 
very sexy, beautiful girls who are actually so much fun to follow who have a similar body type to you. I know me, what body type I have, so I make sure I follow girls who have the same body type because I realized when I was scrolling on TikTok and every girl had a boob job and every girl had a nose job and every girl had blonde hair, I was thinking, should I dye my hair blonde? Should I get a nose job? Should I get my boobs up? That is unhinged. Some of the most beautiful, in my opinion, beautiful people that I follow on social media look nothing like me. So I should follow only preg pregnant brunettes? That would be insufferable. I don't want to do that. So the most beautiful people I follow look nothing like me. And that's okay because I understand that not everyone is going to look like me. Not everyone is going to have big boobs and be short and be brunette. Like, and I just realized one day, like I was just scrolling on TikTok, but I was looking for a sound so I can make a TikTok, not actually scrolling, just wasting time. And I realized what the F's on my For You page? Like, why are they all girls like this? But then the second I follow girls who have similar body types to me. You clearly don't know how social media works because your for you page isn't people that you follow. Your following page is the people you follow on TikTok. Your for you page is just your algorithm. And it's going to keep showing you stuff that you stop on and you watch more. I'm feeling confident in my skin. I'm like, yes, wow, I am hot. Like, I'm embracing who I am. I'm finding fashion inspiration from this body type. Oh, that will look good on my body. Yes, yes, yes. Seeing more girls who look like me. Yes, let me embrace my Arab nose. Fuck yes, let me do that. Because you have to realize you need to be the change that you want to see in the world. You need, to, you need to be the baddie that you want to see in the world. How did we go from you following people that look like yourself so you can have like a more realistic outlook on life? Which, sorry, that's the opposite. <laughs> and you can follow whoever you want. It's fine. But like, imagine going to someone's page and being like, oh my gosh, I, this person like put, puts out really good content. Like, I want to follow them. Oh, but no, their hips are bigger than mine. Oh my God, their waist is smaller than I am. No, they're blonde. No, they have small boobs. I can't follow them. Unhinged behavior, insecure, unhinged behavior. Baddie that you want to see in the world. So if you wish there was more girls in the world who embrace their skin color, who embrace their hair, who embrace their nose, then you need to be that. You need to start being like that. So then you can empower other women to do that also. Which brings me to my next thing. You have to accept your body type, right? And you have to learn to love it. And the way that you do that is by finding outfits that suit your body type. I do not disagree with that. Dressing your body type correctly is so important. Oh my God. So things like fall on you and like in the right places and knowing what looks really good on your body, like girl, that can make you feel so confident and just, oh, I love it. Accentuating like those certain, certain curves in certain areas. Get it, girl. There is outfits that girls with bigger boobs are just going to kill. Like they're going to slay that outfit. And I know me and my boobs, no, it's not going to work. It's not going to look the same. There is girls who they need that curvy body type to wear certain things. And they're, and it looks amazing on them and it flatters their body. There's other dress types where you need that straight body. You need that like triangle body to pull it off. I promise you, if you follow the girls with similar body types to you, if you go on Google and say, what's the best body type for a triangle for a square for a pair those are what the different body types are called right you are going to find a baddie who has the body that you like and that styles it exactly the way that you like i promise you you have to make that effort you have to put in a little bit of time you have to put in that little bit of research to find it and it's going to be worth it now let me check my notebook to make sure that i've mm, i've said all this bit you guys, this is how serious I take these videos, okay? This is how serious I take these videos. Girl, all due respect, this video sucks. It is one of her first videos, and what do I always say? Your first 10, 20, 100 videos are gonna suck. They are. My first 100 videos sucked. <laughs> they were awful. Girl, my first 200 videos sucked. <laughs> and they'll just get better, so hopefully hers get better. Also, at the beginning of this video, when I went over how many, like, followers she has on each platform, that wasn't me, like, shaming her. I just wanted to point that out because she has previously called herself, like, a growth coach like a social media growth coach on either TikTok or Instagram or somewhere. I saw it somewhere. I can't remember where though, but I find that hilarious because it's like, how are you going to teach people something that you haven't done? Okay. I want to make sure I get all the juice for you down. You want to get all the juice for me down? Keep your juices to yourself, Judy. Ugh, juicy Judy at it again. I just want to stress this. I just want to stress the importance of reassuring yourself, guys. And Oh my god. Okay, so she's going to talk about reassuring herself. And we're going to skip ahead because this is making me a little bit nauseous. The trust is gone. The respect is gone. I'm annoyed. Quite frankly, I don't, I don't like my brother at this point, right? Because he said he's going to meet me somewhere and he didn't. He said we're catching up, sorry, and we didn't. That's my brother's word and he went against his word and inconvenienced me. 
this is just PSA. My brother has never done this, <laughs> but he's unreliable, but not to that extent. Anyway, I'm not going to trust my brother. I'm not going to respect your brother. But then how come when you tell yourself, I'm going to start tomorrow, I'm going to start going for a walk. I'm going to start cleaning my makeup brushes. I'm going to start showering twice a day. I'm going to start brushing my teeth every night. I'm going to start cutting that friend off. I'm going to start that business. Who doesn't brush their teeth every night? Well, I mean, I, I do every morning, but I'm going to start that business. Girl, no, you're not. You're going to join a multi-level marketing company and be a part of a cult. We are much easier on ourselves and our own shortcomings than we are other people's. However, this is dumb advice. I'm going to start that business. I'm going to start not spending that much time on TikTok, not spending that much time on Netflix. I'm going to start that side hustle. I'm going to focus one hour on my business. I'm going to start reading some books. What happened then? Even if it's the smallest- Wait, so she's saying that, so then you shouldn't respect yourself and you should lose trust in yourself because you don't do something? That's unhealthy. <laughs> that's that's kind of mean. We're gonna have that confidence. Not because you're not humble and now you're making 50K a month and you're both, no. It's because you said you wanna do it and you actually went ahead and did it. You have that trust now, you have that confidence, you have that respect in yourself, period. And so I want you to start small, okay? Like I said, pick one thing that you're struggling with right now. Maybe you're struggling with complaining a lot. Like you're actually complaining a lot. Be more intentional about your whole day. And every time you notice yourself, mm, I'm complaining, change it. Change it, change it, change it automatically. And force yourself to focus on the good. Force yourself to focus on the good, okay? And I want to make a next video on how to actually be positive because it is going to help a lot of people how to actually be positive, how to actually stop complaining. So if you feel like that's going to help you, then definitely let me know in the comments, okay? But that is going to summarize everything you need to know in confidence, okay? Start very small and just build your way up. Build the habit of only speaking beautiful words to yourself. Never speak down on yourself, okay? And this is the last thing that I want to say as well. Now, a lot of us girls, we might feel jealous. We compare ourselves. Let's be real for one second. We all compare ourselves, okay? Every single one of us. That's why I stress the importance of following girls who look like you on social media because we all compare ourselves. And whether you say you don't, whether you say you do, it's a natural human habit it's in our dna right so i wouldn't say everyone does it i don't look at the kardashians and i'm like oh my god i need a bbl no i've wanted one previously and then i'm like why would i spend that much money when i can just get a muscly butt in the gym instead of a butt made of transferred fat i, I want you to realize that every time that you feel envious of somebody anytime that you feel like jealous of somebody no it's because something that you desire and that you can turn this jealousy and this envy into something that you have, but you have to force that emotion into something good, okay? It's like if you're really angry, what do you choose to do? Go knock out your sibling or go to the gym and have a good workout. Obviously, go to the gym and have a good workout. What is harder? Probably go to the gym and have a good workout, but that is going to gain that. If you're mad at your sibling, your only two options are to go punch them in the face or go work out. You could also talk yourself through those emotions in a healthy manner. And I've, I've, I've gone, I've been like angsty and gone to the gym and, you know, gotten out my anger that way or my, my frustration and my, I don't really get like angry, but my frustration and sadness and feelings and stuff like that. But how immature of just, you want to punch something, go to the gym. Okay. Gain that confidence. And also that gorgeous body, which is, again, confidence. You can have a great body and be insecure. Having a perfect body does not mean that you are going to be not insecure. This is the most immature video I've ever watched in my life. Feeling of jealousy and envy. If you feel that way, okay, I'm jealous because I love that girl. She's just like so hot. I love her makeup. Go buy a few makeup. Go do your makeup that way. Learn how to do it that way, okay? If, if you're if, if you don't want to be wearing makeup then go follow girls like Hailey Bieber who have beautiful skin invest in a beautiful skincare invest oh my god invest in drinking a lot of water and mostly skincare is or skin the quality of your skin is genetic Hailey Bieber has great genes also has I'm sure a great skincare routine I'm sure goes to the spa and gets like all the laser treatments and shit done too she's also just absolutely beautiful if you're a Selena Gomez stan, calm down. I just admitted that I basically admitted that I like Hailey Bieber. I do. I like Selena Gomez too. These people don't know you or care about you. Go touch grass. In drinking a lot of water, okay? You have to figure out what you truly want in life physically and go out and do that. But if you cannot change it, like I said, then you need to learn to love it. And you learn to love it by reassuring yourself, by exposing yourself to people who are similar to you, by adapting different styles that are suitable to you. And most importantly, is actually trusting and respecting yourself by saying you're going to do something and actually doing it. No more starting tomorrow. Start tonight.
start tonight start tonight or really actually start tomorrow no excuses what is today but yesterday is tomorrow i've said that to tony so many times and he like does not get it he's like wait what <laughs> it's my favorite oh i love confusing that man but yeah what is today but yesterday is tomorrow yesterday you said you would do something tomorrow. Today is that tomorrow and you still haven't done it. I mean, yeah, push yourself. Don't give excuses. Prioritize things. Insert Pinterest quote here, girlfriend. Like, did you really have to make a 22 minute video? Absolutely zero excuses. You got this. And please let me know which one was your favorite. Please let me know if this was helpful. And I hope that from this video, once you actually start utilizing all these techniques, you will actually learn to love yourself wholeheartedly. Maybe it's not a- But if you're fat, you better not love yourself is what I'm getting from her. I commented on that video and I can't remember. She gained three more subscribers. If you can't take it, don't dish it out. Don't go show hate or harass this person at all. Don't be dumb. Don't be like that. I don't know about y'all, but I feel much more confident. I love myself, including my starfish hands and my square neck. I hope that you love yourself in an unhinged manner. Unless you're fat, then you can't love yourself. You're lazy and worthless. I'm just going off what Judy taught me in this video. In all seriousness, don't listen to this turd. This is absolutely Pinterest personified. Don't listen to her. Okay, there's nothing wrong with quotes and stuff like that, that, you know, hype you up, spreading positivity like that. Okay, good, go for it, wonderful. Be self-aware, be logical, be realistic. If you want to change something about yourself and you have the means and ability to do so, then do it. There's no easy, fast way other than lipo, then again, that's not easy <laughs> or really fast. And that's regarding weight, weight loss. But still, if you want to change something physical about yourself and you're able to, and it's like mentally okay for you to do it, then that's fine. Talk to a therapist first. They should do some type of evaluation and a consultation anyways. But yeah, who cares? Also, guess what? To answer that question, who cares? You. You're the only one that cares. You're the only one who cares about what you look like. No one else cares. Love yourself. Be realistic, be logical, be nice to yourself and be patient, please. Don't listen to these people, they're weird. <laughs> Follow whoever you want on social media. My one thing that is, uh, is that if it doesn't bring you joy, unfollow them unfollow them if it's like too repetitive like i don't follow anyone on social media that really does anti-mlm stuff i don't want to say it doesn't bring me joy like nothing but love to all of the people but i would just be burnt out in that being burnt out and like overstimulated with that and like tired of it doesn't bring me joy so therefore i unfollowed a bunch of people i go through and unfollow people all the time and you know follow pages that truly do bring me joy make me laugh and stuff like that it should be an escape for you make you happy your feed should make you happy. If it doesn't bring you joy, get out of there, babe. And if someone gets mad about it, who cares? Social media isn't real life. Doesn't mean you don't like someone just because you don't follow them. Oh, well. <sighs> Anyways, your feelings are valid. You are valuable. You better be staying spicy. I mentioned it in a few videos before, but we have new merch, Trophy Wife merch. And then hopefully by the time I post this video, we have other merch as well. I'm working on redesigning Couch People merch as we speech, as we speech, girl, what? <laughs> We don't know how to speech over here. As we speak and then, or as I speak, I guess, because you're not speaking. You might be, thanks. And then also a spicy merch as well. I have to do a bit of a redesign on that. And then also, because I, I like how this one, this is Cody Co's merch, how his says like Cody's Dessert Club. I kind of want to do, instead of like Chelsea's something, I want to do something for Wiggum. And then I think I might do like, Chelsea's couch club. Oh my God, that's perfect. I was gonna say like Chelsea's couch people or like official couch person. Oh, but I love Chelsea's couch club. Oh, I love it. Perfect. So I'm gonna try to do something like that. If you have any ideas, feel free to send them over, design ideas, whatever, something that you like think I should pull inspiration from. Anyways, hopefully by the time this video comes out, I'll be able to have those down below, you should see a little bar that comes across with the merch. So anyways, trying to make this stuff more wearable because I know wearing something that says clout demon or wearing something that says don't be a dick isn't super wearable. That's why I made the trophy wife merch a little bit more simplistic, a little bit more wearable. I'm also trying to make hats, embroidered ones, but the merch provider, like every time I try to design a new hat, it like won't let me post the listing. It's so weird. I wish I could just find a better merch provider, but that's so hard to do when you have a smaller channel. I know 101,000 isn't small, but comparatively to like bigger ones. Anyways, 
Appreciate you, love you, and I'll see you in my next video. Remember, if you want to submit anything for me to do a video on, someone submitted this girl, it was hilarious, and a very welcomed rabbit hole to fall down, please do follow the directions in the description box below, not only for scam stories, video ideas, or just like stuff to send over to the Google Drive, I would appreciate it. You're beautiful, I love you, your butt looks great, so does your hair, are you wearing it different? I don't care, it looks awesome. Okay, goodbye.